Have you ever wanted to create music using a text prompt with AI? Well, you can actually do that with Music LM. Take a look. Just from this input of a text prompt, you're able to get an output generation of a music clip. Now, this is something that is created using Music LM, and this is a project that is backed by Google, in which it is a groundbreaking project that focuses on generating high quality music based off of textual descriptions. Now, this model aims to produce music that adheres to specific textual cues. Now, from one of the most notable achievements of Music LM, it is its ability to generate music that consists of a coherent several minutes of maintaining a sampling rate of 24k hertz now the approach employed by music lm involves treating conditional music generation as well as a hierarchical sequence to sequence modeling task now this is something that we're going to be showcasing in today's video as we go deeper at the world of ai and just showing you what music lm is so with that thought guys before we actually get into the gist of the video if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos it'd mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can do so as i post a lot of ai content that you will definitely benefit from now if you guys haven't subscribed please do so like this video comment anything you want to see in the future and with that thought let's get right into it as we know guys this is a project that was recently released by google at their convention recently which was showcasing a lot of different projects in the ai world that google is focusing on now through extensive experimentation the researchers at google have been able to demonstrate that music lm surpasses previous systems in terms of audio quality and the ability to adhere to a given text description you're able to get different types of content as well as outputs of intended use with audio outputs that focus on style as well as moods that are described in an input text. Now additionally to this, Music LM showcases its versatility by being able to generate music based on not only of a textual prompt but also accommodating melodies that are associated with the textual prompt. Now for instance, let's say the model can transform uh, something that is given through an whistle or a hum melody and this is through a textual caption that is given in the input of the system now this feature can actually give you an output of someone whistling as well as someone humming with this melody and this is one of the features that is highlighted with the model's ability to incorporate and adapt to multiple sources of musical inputs which basically allows it to leverage different creative avenues now so to facilitate further research in this domain what the team behind this project has done is that they've released a publicly available data set which i can showcase over later and this is through music caps now this data set consists of 5.5 thousand different music samples and it's where human experts have provided rich text descriptions and the availability of this actual data set allow other researchers who want to actually use it to explore the advancements of their field of text-based music generation so if you want to take a look at this i'll definitely give this link in the description below now there's a lot of different features that i really want to go over in today's video we're also going to be showcasing some of the things that you're able to do and capably work with with this actual project but first things first guys if you actually want to get this demo use of this project what you need to do is go on to google's ai test kitchen and this is a place where you can actually play around with the latest demos so if you really 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 want to play around with this demo what you got to do is get queued for this wait list and that is by going on this ai test kitchen website what you can do is go down to the music lm actual like category area over here click on try now and I already applied for it but you gotta go through this process where i'll ask you what is your intended purpose of using music lm and you will basically get into the actual wait list for it i highly recommend if you want to play around with it you definitely sign up for this wait list now let's actually take a look at some of the different things that you can do with music lm so some of the notable features of music lm are its high fidelity music generation now this basically allows music lm to be designed to generate music at a high level of audio quality now we've seen different applications on my video which are a textual to audio like voice tool or a music tool there's different tools that are covered with different like use cases 
in terms of actual generation of music too and one of the main things that we see from these projects is that they're not at the same level of quality as the quality of music lm and i'm going to be showcasing you these examples later on in the video and you will definitely see as to the high fidelity of music generation that music lm is actually capable of doing and this is through their actual extensive research as well as their data sets so this is what makes this project so much more superior than these other projects in which they try to achieve generating music from an actual textual prompt now another feature is its adherence to textual description now this is their key feature as music lm has the ability to create music clo that closely aligns the textual cues provided as an input and what it does is that it actually ensures that the generated music captures the intended style mode as well as the specific music element that is described in the textual rich captions and this is something that we can see in this description right here i'm going to turn down the audio a little bit because it's a little bit too loud but you can see that if you're able to give it a rich textual description, you're able to get a really, really good generated audio. Now let's see in this case where the main, let's read out this caption actually. The main soundtrack of an arcade game, it's a fast paced upbeat with a catchy electric guitar riff. Now the music is a repetitive and easy to remember, but it is unex with unexpected sounds like a cymbal crashes or drum rolls. Now let's take a look at this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely going to put a lot of people out of business as you can definitely just make a freaking audio track for a game, for example, just from a click of a couple of buttons and text like input of a couple of words. And you're able to get such great generation of textual or of generative audio. Now, let's check another look of something like you can see the description of this and let's see what we're able to get from Alpha. Another one. I don't know about you guys, but this is absolutely amazing, guys. You're able to get such like a dear textual descriptions as with I mean with the textual descriptions, you're able to get such amazing generative audio. And there's different things that you can see over here. There's different examples that they uploaded with the rich captions and I highly recommend that you play around with this and take a listen to it as they're able to generate such amazing different types of like generative audio. Now I, I want to check this one out because it's a little big. So let's actually read this out. This is an R&B hip hop music piece. This is There is a male vocal rapping and a female vocal singing in a rap like manner. The beat is comprised of piano playing with chords and the tune with an electric drum backing. The atmosphere of the piece is playful and energetic. The piece could be used to the soundtrack of a high school drama music TV show. It could be played at a birthday party or beach parties. Now from this rich text description it also inputs the different styles and moods and specific music elements from these texts and from these different captions you're able to get such like descriptive like audio generated I don't know about you, Ben, but this is absolutely amazing. I know I keep saying this, but this is insane as to what you can do with this. Now, let's actually focus on some of the other things that this actual application is able to focus on. Like we talked about at the start, you're able to get longer generation of audio inputs from even like one word of textual prompts. You're able to make different types of musics that are even up to five minutes long, which is absolutely cool. Now you're able to even work on their story mode audio feature, which is able to generate by providing a sequence of text prompts. And what this does is that you're able to get a model that continues the somatic tokens derived from previous captions. Now, for, let's take a look at one of this example over here. You give it a textual prompt and you're able to get something that is basically focused on a story mode of a generative audio. So 
So if you can tell from this description as well as these timestamps, you're able to see that the audio generated focuses on the text prompts as well as the mood styles. You're able to see that when you're it's when it's time to meditate, the music is more of a softer tone. And then when you get to the wake up phase, it gets a little bit more upbeat. And then when it gets to the time to run as well as the time to give 100%, it starts getting an amplified a little bit more and it atones to the different types of moods and styles that are descriptive to the types of text prompts that is inputted. And what this does is that it gives you a type of a way in which it generates different types of audios relating to the actual story. Obviously, it's not a story, but it's more of a generative prompt that replicates a type of way or a mood and you're able to get this generated content from it now you're able to even get melody conditioning from textual prompts you're able to tweak around with different types of like uh inputs uh, in this case you can get different types of inputs this is bella chow which is a famous song and you're able to get it like humming in a humming face with the melody inputted over here from this textual prompt which is quite amazing and you can even input different things like jingle bells or different types of things that will actually add on to this initial input and these are some of the things that you're able to do by adding different embeddings to the actual audio file you're able to even do different things that contain painting caption conditioning you're able to get a painting description as well as an image and from this you're able to generate an audio now you're able to do a lot with this guys there's different things and i highly recommend that you check this out because you're able to do a lot of different things as it's a diverse tool that focuses on a lot of different things with different like audio outputs as well as different inputs that can tweak it to give you a different output there's 10 second audio generation from text this basically replicates different instruments in this case you give it a, a caption of acoustic guitar you're able to get this generation or you're able to give it a electric guitar and you're able to get this sorry that was a little bit loud uh, you're able to even focus on different genres, 8-bit, which is you're going to see right here. You give it a description of a game type of audio, and you get this output. If you want something ambient, you can give this textual representation, and you'll get this uh, output. And they have a lot of different features. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about is how are they going to be able to let this be used for fair use? or copywriting so this is one thing i wanted to actually focus on what are some of the things that they can actually do to basically have it is there going to be any restrictions or what are the actual use cases of this so let's actually take a look and go over some of the things that you can do in terms of actually using it for commercial use so in terms of the actual usage of music lm for commercial purposes it would actually depend on the specific terms and conditions that are released by the actual researchers so this is one thing that they've actually emphasized but what they were trying to do or recommend is that they're actually gonna have licensings as well as different pricings that will be connected to the commercial usage of the application so this way you're able to generate different types of content that could be used for fair use later on so this way you're not able to get in trouble with legal purposes as well as you get to use the actual content for your own use case but obviously this is like far down in the roadmap but this is something i wanted to emphasize as this is could be something that might be interesting to keep in mind before you actually use it for your own use cases now there's also different things that i wanted to showcase but obviously with the time we have we're not going to be able to go through all the different like generative like audio inputs but uh in this case i will leave the link in the description below and i highly recommend that you check it out because you'll get a lot of different ideas as to what you can do with this actual application now overall i definitely see that music LLM presents a significant advancement in the realm of music generation from text descriptions and it will be quite awesome to see how this project actually innovates in the future i love what google is doing with their ai race 
in terms of producing amazing applications so it's quite amazing to see certain things and applications like this being released on a week to week basis so i hope you found this video quite informative and i hope you got some sort of idea out of what this project is trying to accomplish so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe like this video and with that thought i'll see you guys noon peace out fellas have an amazing day have a bright smile i'll see you soon